What's up everybody? Today I just want to do a video that is like an introduction to metalworking. I'm going to be using basic tools that most woodworkers and makers are already going to have. And what I need to do is make a little panel that goes in the back of this uh, speedster that I've been building. I made this gas cap, I casted this. I'll be doing a video on how I did this too. Um, but for now I just wanted to focus on this little panel I need to make. So it needs to follow the curve of the body and then it just needs to have a little recessed area for this gas cap to sit into. So as far as tools go for this, we're gonna keep it pretty basic. I'm gonna be using like a ball peen hammer. I'll probably use this other hammer. This is one that I made with like a rounded head on it. We'll be using a block of wood, probably some other pieces of wood to make like a hammer form. We'll be using some aviation snips. You can find a lot of these for next to nothing at like yard sales, but honestly, they only cost about 25 bucks. I would just go buy yourself a good pair. Like these ones here, once they wear out, they're kind of junk. Uh, some files, and then, you know, some more basic like woodworking tools, like a jigsaw and a drill, and something like this spindle sander here. This is just a cheap one from Len. Uh, this will help us out when making our hammer form also. Now to make a pattern for this, I'm gonna use some blue tape. I'm just gonna start by covering it. Now I'm just gonna take a marker and trace out these lines that I can see coming through. This doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because we're gonna make this panel a little oversized. All right, now I need to just figure out roughly where I want this gas cap to be. cover this with some more of this packing tape. Now what I like to do is flip it over and cover the back side with some tape. into everything. Now I'm going to cut this pattern out. Again, this doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. We're gonna cut our metal oversized so we've got a bunch of extra to work with. like a flange along here anyways that's going to actually attach to the body. And now that I have this piece flat, I can actually draw exactly how I want this gas cap to be. Next, I'm gonna transfer this pattern, actually just the hole here, over to this piece of wood. And this is, I don't know, a quarter inch thick or so. Could actually just use our gas cap to make this mark, but that's okay. Just drill a hole.
And then to refine this shape here, I'm gonna use this spindle sander. These are really cheap. You can get these for like 50 bucks. I'll put a link down in the description. I'm gonna be using aluminum for this. This is 50 thousandths thick, uh, 3003 H14. So it'll be pretty easy to work as long as we don't overwork it too hard, we won't have to re anneal it. I'm not doing too much shaping on this panel, so it should be okay. And it comes with this coating on it. It's important to get this off before you start shaping. It's already difficult to remove. You start beating on it, it gets a lot harder. Uh. You know those oddly satisfying videos? This is not one of them. Eventually. And as you can see, this is quite a bit bigger. We're gonna have a lot extra to trim off. Let me just roughly mark out where we are here. And we're still gonna leave a bunch of material afterwards mark out our hole All right. and now I've got a few different pieces of material here I got just a piece of MDF just to put against here so I don't get like these holes transferred over I've got our hammer form and then I've got this piece that'll end up going over the top and get clamped down to pinch all the material together. But what I wanna do is find out, you know, that make sure I'm in the right spot here. You can make like different things to reference these. You could screw them together. Uh, I don't really feel like doing that. I'm gonna clamp this, so. If I just tap around there, I can see where I'm starting to make that dish. And then when I set this piece over, I know that it's roughly centered over that hole. Now I'm gonna clamp all this to my bench. If you don't have these same style clamps, you can just use something that comes in from the side. And this piece on the top is just going to keep the metal from buckling too much. Don't forget, we're gonna end up cutting a hole in this in the end because that's where our actual uh, fuel filler will go. When I'm swinging this, I'm sort of hitting and pulling in so I can get that corner nice and sharp. Really, there's a lot of things that you can find that'll help you do this. This is a hammerhead for like a pneumatic hammer, and I'm just kind of using that as like a caulking tool. The key to getting a nice finish is a lot of light hits. And this is pretty loud, so don't forget like some hearing protection. See just how much we move that. That's a whole 
thickness of that material there. Alright, now I just want to add the flange on. I'm going about three quarters of an inch from the pattern that I made. shape out. And I like to wear leather gloves whenever I'm cutting this stuff because the edge will get a little sharp. Just to show you guys another option, you can get these uh, knockoff Beverly shears from Harbor Freight, and they're pretty inexpensive and they make this a lot easier. All right, now we need to start getting the shape of the body here, and we can start doing that just by forming this piece by hand but it's gonna be very difficult to get any shape anywheres around this shape that we've put into it. So to do that, we're gonna to need to stretch this material a little bit here and here. And we can use this uh, block of wood that I've just made a little dish in and one of the curved hammer heads. Just keep working these pieces until this fits nice against the body. We'll just do it slow. We don't want to overstretch it because it's going to be hard to put it back to where it was. So what I do is I use this area here, this dish, to stretch the metal out. And that'll leave it a little rough. And then I just do a bunch of little taps on the flat part to planish those marks out and smooth everything out. And you'll notice that if you, you know, use this dished area here to stretch this, then when you planish it out on here, it kind of will flatten that area out a little bit more. So then you may need to go back, stretch it a little more, and just keep going back and forth and working it. Like I said, we're just doing this slow. We're kind of creeping up on the fit of it. You don't just want to want to go crazy and, and start trying to shape too much of it because you'll probably lose your, your sense of direction on it. Getting pretty close. I just need to get this area here to curve down more. Get this a little tighter here and I trimmed this off because it was just excess metal that I didn't need and it was making it a little hard to do what I needed it to do. It was starting to cause buckles in here as I would you know work one side and then work back and forth.
So just a little bit more and this should be fitting pretty good. Last thing I want to do is just kind of round these top corners out a bit. Got that fitting pretty good. Now our final step here will be to sand and polish this. So it's still got some real light hammer marks in it, but when we sand it and buff this all out, all those will be gone. Let's see how the gas cap fits. That should be pretty nice on there. And there'll be rivets or something around here holding it to the body. All right, so if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I always try to answer you guys on there. Like I said, this was kind of just a you know basic introduction into this stuff. We made a pretty cool piece for the car, and this is definitely something that you guys can do. So I hope this inspires you to get out into your shops, get some pieces of metal, and see what you can come up with. If this video helped you out, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. If you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe, and it would really help me out a lot if you guys share this video with your friends. And until next time, I'll see everybody over on one of these other videos.